Go ahead and open you up a large can of cream of chicken, the family size. You need two cans of potatoes. Now, I use sliced potatoes in the original recipe, but today I only have whole potatoes, so I'm using whole potatoes. You need a can of green beans. If you're trying to serve more than two of you, you might want to open up another can of green beans. Uh, you need pepper, poultry seasoning. Now, it's important that you get McCormick poultry seasoning because the main ingredient in McCormick poultry seasoning is sage. And you're going to need about one and a half cups of hot water, and you're going to put some bouillon in that and mix it up. We're going to be pouring this over um, what we're making. Now, you can use a nor bouillon or granules, or you can use better than bouillon. I'm actually using some better than bouillon today. But just make a cup and a half of broth from your bouillon. All right. I am using celery. Now, you want to dice your celery and make sure it's pretty small. And you're also going to use onion. You're gonna use about three quarter cups of celery and just chop up one onion. You're gonna want all that flavor in there. I did this recipe um, for like when you're in the mood for turkey dinner during the year, but you don't wanna fool with the cornbread and all that. Uh, Cause you know us Southerners like cornbread dressing. Um, but you can make this and let it be a shortcut meal. And I'm gonna tell you, it's better than some turkey meals that I've had. Uh, <laughs> I have to be honest with you. Now, I know you're using a lot of canned food, but many of you, if you're single or if you're alone, uh, this would make a really good turkey uh, meal for you and your, uh, give you that Thanksgiving spirit without having to go to all the work. So we got everything out and ready. Now my original recipe calls for Pepperidge Farm stuffing mix. I actually don't have any, but I do have some stove top. And I tell you to use about eight ounces. Now the stove top stuffing comes in a six ounce box and that's what we're gonna be using today. It's just the six ounces. Um, so we've got one chicken and one cornbread. I'm actually gonna put the cornbread one on the bottom layer uh, the reason I'm going to do that is because the um, cornbread one has a little bit more of a texture um, and it's going to soak up more water on the bottom. So I'm going to put it on the bottom. Uh, we're going to start la layering this now. We're going to put our cornbread stuffing on the bottom. So you're going to start with your cornbread stuffing on the bottom. really just six ounces. I'm going to show you the difference in the two. This is uh, Pepperidge Farm, okay? I had some in the cabinet. It has 12 ounces in a bag. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit in here to it, and you can see the difference in the texture. This one looks more like cornbread to me. So put your cornbread on the bottom. Stuffy. Now you're going to Put your celery. And your onion on top of that stuffing layer. Looks well, good already, don't it? Gotta have plenty of flavor, I can tell you that. Okay. We're gonna sprinkle some poultry seasoning on top of the stuffing. Now I'm gonna place the turkey on this layer. And I just bought a turkey tenderloin. The first time I made this, I sliced the turkey too thin and we barely had any turkey. So this time I'm making sure and putting more turkey in the crock pot. That's one turkey tenderloin just sliced. Now you're gonna take your cream of chicken soup and place it on top of your turkey. Now 
Now you're gonna be pulling your ingredients away from the two edges for your veggies. Um, so make sure that you don't get your cream of chicken too close to the edge so you don't get your hand in it when you start to pull away. Okay, cream of chicken. Now you're gonna put your other pack of stuffing on top of that cream of chicken soup. Try to keep it more in the middle because like I said, we're about to put vegetables on the side. Now you're gonna take your liquid broth that you made out of your bouillon, one and a half cups of water with the bouillon, and you are going to pour it kind of evenly over the stuffing. Okay, you are supposed to drain your potatoes and your green beans before you place them in the crock pot. All right, so I'm gonna take my hand. This is the only way to do it. You just have to wash your hands when you're done. And you're gonna pull this out from the edge. And that way, when you make a plate, you can grab your green beans from the corner. Now, if you've got more than two people, you might wanna use two cans of green beans. And you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side for the potatoes. We like potatoes, I guess, more, and so I, I'm using two cans of potatoes. Now, these are not sliced potatoes because I didn't have any sliced ones, so we're just using whole potatoes. Now, if you want to use fresh potatoes, you can, but I wanted this to be an easy meal that somebody can put together before they go to work. Now, the only thing left is slicing up some butter and putting it on the top. Don't that sound good? This is such a pretty dish. Look how pretty that is. Now, I'm going to open up some whole cranberry sauce for supper tonight. This is going to be absolutely delicious, y'all. You are going to be pleased with the outcome of this. Maybe I should use my noggin a little bit more and come up with some more original recipes because this is a really good one. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of black pepper on it because I like black pepper. Just on the potato side, I guess it's good. And that's it, y'all. We're gonna cover this and we're gonna let it cook on low for eight to nine hours. Don't this look delicious? Wow, it's gonna be good. Now we're gonna cover it and you can cook it on low for eight to nine hours if you've gotta to go to work, but we're gonna put it on high today and we'll have it for dinner for about six to seven hours. Make sure that turkey's done. It should be if you've got it on high that long or low that long. We'll see you tonight for supper when we open up our cranberry sauce. So I got my cranberry sauce open on one end and I didn't put a hole on this side yet. So I've got to put a little bit of a hole in it in order for it to come loose. I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do that. All right, there's our cranberry sauce. This is my beautiful thumbprint glass that um, I ordered to go with the rest of my thumbprint glass. You know, I told you I was missing a couple of pieces. Well, I got this piece, and I'll go ahead and get my serving dish and show it to you too. When we do Thanksgiving, I'm gonna put my potato salad in this or something. Isn't it just the most beautiful stuff you've ever seen? It is gorgeous. This is Fenton thumbprint glass from the 50s and 60s. I got it on eBay. All right, just thought I'd show it to you because I'm looking forward to using that this Thanksgiving. All righty, come here and take a look at this. It is going to be so good.
It is bubbly and it smells so good. All right, when you serve my crock pot dinner, remember that your turkey, your gravy is in the middle with your stuffing. Your potatoes are on one side and your, and your green beans are on one side. So you need to dip your veggies first, okay? So I'm gonna dip out some green beans. Put them on the plate. Some potatoes. Put them on the plate. So you just have to reach into the corners and get your veggies. Now we're gonna turn it around and your regular stuffing is on the top, your cornbread stuffing's on the bottom, and then of course your turkey's in the middle. So you're just gonna reach under here and grab you a nice piece of turkey. And there's you some stuffing. I'm gonna reach in here to the very bottom and get some more cornbread stuffing. So you got the gravy, you've got the stuffing, you've got the turkey. I mean, it's just all in one pot. Now that cornbread stuffing got a little brown on the bottom. It looks good, don't it? And that's how you want it. You don't want it to be all soggy. And uh, I know when I first did this recipe, I put a little bit too much water in there. And um, when I perfected it, I got it to where I thought it would have just the right amount of liquid in it to really make a good crock pot turkey dinner. We're gonna put our cranberry sauce on the plate. Okay, it's time to taste our turkey. Let's slice into this turkey and get us a good bite of turkey dinner. Tender, that's some tender turkey. Slice this off some potato. Now, isn't this a nice little meal and it's so simple and it was so easy to have such a big plate of food. And me and Chris have just enjoyed our day. Now all we need is a homemade roll. Well, that's good. I know y'all are gonna enjoy this crock pot meal. It is so good. Please try it before Thanksgiving because many of you will decide just to make this for Thanksgiving because it's gonna be so easy and it's so delicious. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day and I hope you enjoy my turkey crock pot dinner. Thanks for watching Color Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.